Hey guys, I just wanted to say hi. Um, we just got home from Sabbath and um, I am going to read from Revelation and I'm getting a big thumbs up. So usually normally, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting a big thumbs up to go for it. So I'm going to read the Revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Can you please turn that down or go upstairs, Brooklyn? Brooklyn, did you hear what I said? Please take that upstairs. I'm doing I'm doing something right now that is very important. Okay, and yours I can hear it louder than my own voice. Please take it upstairs or put your head plugs in. Thank you. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John, who bore record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the first and the prince of kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and have made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see with him, and they also which pierced him shall see, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, Patmos, excuse me, for the word of God. And you guys would not believe what Patmos means. I've got to look it up. There's a meaning behind everything. And Patmos really had something to do. Oh, I can't remember, guys. I will I will get it and let you know, though. Patmos, look it up. It's There's a meaning to Patmos, and it has to do with John. It really does, and then the situation he was in. Uh, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia and Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thetis. I always have one a hard time with that one, guys. And on to Sardis and on to Philadelphia, which is where I'd like to be. And on to Laodicea, okay? And I turned to see the voice that spoke to me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle, yea, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, which would be the seven angels. And out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged, I bet sword, no, two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. 
And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write these things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, which is the seven churches. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. That's what it just said. And the seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. This is more like, but they are a of a synagogue of Satan. And hast, home, hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake, but maybe not, I don't want to go switching words, just saying, um, anyway, and, and hast home and hast patience and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come quickly unto thee. I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicola Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches to him that overcometh I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church of, in Smyrna write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say, my allergies, excuse me, guys, they just have been rough today. Um, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of a synagogue of Satan. Okay. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may, ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation. 10 days be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches this is so important guys that you guys get the beginning of revelation and the letters to the churches you better you really need to okay He that hath an ear, well, there we go, and to the angel of the church in Pergamos, write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges, I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast that, there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication, so hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. 
he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. Oh my goodness. You know what? It says this every time after he's giving a warning to one of these one of the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone. I want a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth. Ah, oh, I want one, and I've heard about that before, and it just, my heart, oh my gosh. And on to the angel of the church in Thyatira, I'm sorry guys, that's the one I always have a problem with. Write these things, saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Tytira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Wow. And all, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star, he that hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches again, guys. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore shall, thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Okay, anybody who says you don't know the day or the hour, that's true. That's what it says, but that's a lie out of hell. That's a lie from Satan. You are commanded to watch. What does this say? What did I just read? It's true. Okay. Thou has a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, this is the church that I wish I was from, but I'm probably not worthy. I don't believe I'm worthy, no. I'm just not worthy because I'm not. And to the angel of the, the church in Philadelphia write, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, 
and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the, the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. So any of you guys that don't believe in a rapture, okay, what is this saying? Either God's going to take a bunch of people and hide them somewhere on the, in the firmament on earth, or it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, amen, which cometh down out of the heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Lacedians, Laodiceans, Laodiceans, there we go, write these things, saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. He wants you one or the other. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need to of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold, tried in the fire, transform me, reform me, Lord Jesus. I am still learning, but I am ready and willing, and I will never, ever deny you. I am yours, but I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke the, the chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will, will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I, over, as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. I'm going, this is at four. I don't have a flash on. I don't know what happens, why every time I do this, when I do Bible studies on YouTube now, I had a dream, you guys, two and a half years ago, and I was told to name the channel City of the Lost. But I didn't. And I named it Eternal Life Matters because I thought it would be appropriate back when in 2020. So what is going on with the light, you guys? Is this from inside or outside? Hold on. Okay. What is happening? This is like wild. There's an angel, I believe, standing right over there, you guys. You just can't see it. That's so crazy. This is, wow, you guys, I love you. Bless you, God bless you guys. I love you. Jesus is coming soon. He is coming soon. I love you guys.